Quay, things are moving a little slower out there, Anthony, and they should. Those roads are wet. Oh, yeah, wet roads and maybe even some ponding on those roadways as well, Richard. Thanks to all of that heavier showers and storms that moved through the Augusta area not too long ago. They're moving pretty quickly, though. Thanks to this area of low pressure, we have those showers today coming in out of the south, and they're going to continue to push to the north as we go through the next uh, hour or so. You can see quickly moving through the downtown Augusta area and really favoring places by the lake, Columbia County, now Edgefield County, and Aiken County seeing some of those stronger storms right now. We'll zoom into Evans where we did have some good uh, downpours and even some thunder and lightning going on. So if you uh, live more on the S Savannah River side of Columbia County there, we're seeing more of those showers and storms going on near Fears Ferry Road. That continues into Edgefield County there. It's a lot of those heavier showers and storms going on right now. The western branch of Clarks Hill Lake also seeing some very heavy rain and some thunder and lightning. This line continues to stretch through Aiken and then all the way out through Wagner and Sally seeing some more of those stronger storms. The look from Grovetown and I-20 up to the north, some very dark skies there, and we're now cooled down into the low 70s here in Augusta. We are dry actually in downtown right now, starting to see that rain taper off, but a few more storms not going to be ruled out a little bit later on this evening. We will get a good chance to dry things up as we go through the next couple of hours, but then those storms will kind of feed back into the region a little bit later on this evening, and by tomorrow morning, the same situation. A few more scattered storms throughout the day tomorrow. Temperatures staying into the upper 70s and low 80s and the chance for some more storms as we go through the day on Friday. But the overall trend will be to dry things up just a little bit more. But with the storms today and tomorrow, we will still have that chance to pick up between about one to possibly two inches within some of those thunderstorms. So staying that slight risk, that level two risk for flash flooding both today and tomorrow, that drops down to a level one risk on Friday. Then we take away that flooding threat for both Saturday and Sunday. So trending in the right direction for us. You can see these rain chances drop dropping down to pretty much nothing by Sunday. So I'm thinking a good majority of our Sunday will actually end up staying on the drier side. So some fantastic news there. This pesky area of low pressure will finally start to move to our north as we go through the next couple of days. Behind that, we'll start to notice some building high pressure that will help with those temperatures to increase and to help dry us up just a little bit more. So by Sunday, we are expecting things to dry things up just a little bit more. Going through Friday night in through the day on Saturday, Saturday afternoon, not ruling out a few scattered storms there, and then relatively dry throughout the day on Sunday. Only about a 20% chance for a few isolated storms, but more than likely we're going to drop that risk altogether and that will push those temperatures closer to 90 degrees as we go through the day on Sunday. So back to those seasonal temperatures there. Quick check on the tropics. We have tropical storm Brett now with winds at 65 miles per hour. This is expected to continue with that tropical storm strength all the way through the upcoming weekend. No threat for us here in the United States, so that's great news there. And we're going to keep an eye on another tropical system just behind Brett. Now locally over the next couple of days, we're going to get a chance to dry things up a little bit more so will Saturday and Sunday those temperatures will be a little bit warmer closer to 90.